Gaming laptops are often divided into two categories. You get the high-end Max-Q laptops that cost well over 50k and they are thin and light but cannot produce the same amount of power as a non-Max-Q device. You then get super budget ones that come with the bare minimum such as a GTX 1050 GPU with 2GB of RAM. It is often hard to find something smack bang in the middle of it all that still offers great value for its asking price and still packs a punch to play everything on the market without compromising the quality. Well this is where the Acer Predator Helios 300 comes in. It packs a GTX 1060 with 6GB of VRAM, a Core i7-8750, 2.2GHz of CPU, 32GB of RAM, 1TB HDD and a 512GB SSD. There's also a lower model that comes with 16 gigs of RAM, a Core i7-7700HQ and only a 256 gigabyte SSD. Regardless of what model you look at, the main attraction of this 15 inch gaming laptop is the GTX 1060 as it is the only gaming laptop in its price range to offer a GTX 1060 across all models. How much is the price you may be wondering? Well, the Acer Predator Helios 300 starts at 16999 for the 7th gen Core i7-16GB model and the 32GB 8th gen Core i7-8750HK model will set you back 24999 16999 is a very good price considering other gaming laptops around that asking price only put a GTX 1050 Ti in them. The closest competitor has to be the MSI's GP72VR model, but even that is 19999. The Acer Predator Helios 300 is without a doubt the best value on the market for its asking price, and you practically get a good mid-range gaming laptop for a very good price thanks to that GTX 1060. The Acer Predator Helios 300 might look boring from the pictures, but when you have it in your hands, it's much more visually appealing than you think. I did not realize its striking design until I had it under my arm carrying it around with me during the day. It comes with a brushed aluminium top and inner shell around the keyboard, two red strips across the lid, and the Predator logo in the middle. When looking at the display, you have a 15-inch standard FHD LED monitor. Nothing crazy about this by any means, and it is a bit dim, but it definitely gets the job done well. There's also a full-size keyboard with a red trim, red backlighting, and the WASD key boast a full red design. Starting with the display, the Helios 300 does not have the best one we have ever used. Sure, for its asking price and design, it works, but it is a bit dimmer than we would have liked. When looking at its nits, it just has over 225, which is pretty low. If we could have had another 20 to 30 in there, this would have been a dream display. As for the color, it also does not come across as vibrant as it should due to the lower brightness. While these are issues that bother us, it does not mean the display does not deliver a high-end gaming experience as everything we have played has delivered as well. When looking at the keyboard, it does its job too. We actually typed faster than ever with this keyboard layout and somehow our fingers just flew across it. We were pretty impressed by it. The only downside is that you cannot change the backlight to another color, but we suppose the Predator range is all about that red. The trackpad is also great, and there can be a breaking point for us. We are able to use it comfortably without feeling sticky at all. It also makes use of the gestures, which we use more than we should. These make navigating Windows 10 a breeze. Acer has always included some decent speakers inside their tech, and the Helios 300 is no different. Music and gaming sounds came out pretty well and while it lacked a bass kick, sound was pretty clear, it never distorted and it was loud at the same time. It makes watching movies, gaming and listening to music fantastic. This is the power of Acer's True Harmony speakers and the patent is more than just a fancy word. Of course, it would not be a gaming laptop review without some benchmarks and we ran the usual heaven and tested out the Final Fantasy XV Windows Edition Tool 2 as I feel that it could be one of the best benchmark tests on the market right now. I also played a load of Earthfall which is my current gaming addiction. The Heaven tests were pretty decent, scoring 1919 with the max FPS of 174 frames per second. 
However, the Final Fantasy XV benchmark really surprised us. We reviewed the MSI GS65 Stealth Thin, which packs a GTX 1070 Max-Q design GPU and it scored 5404. The Predator Helios 300 came in with 4687, which is just under 1000 less than the machine that costs 54,999 Rand. That's almost 20,000 Rand more. The results from this benchmarks are pretty clear. The Helios 300 packs some pretty high power in it and everything you have read and seen up to now you need to keep into mind that this is a budget laptop with only a GTX 1060 in. The results speak for themselves. The Predator's NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 with 6GB of VRAM is more than enough for any sort of gaming on a laptop and does very very well on this device. We have to say that we've reviewed a lot of gaming laptops and many of them struggle to disperse the heat. The Helios 300 packs a new dual aero blade cooling tech that really helps keep things cool. The top of the laptop got a bit warm while pushing it to the limits but the bottom not so much. It was even comfortable gaming on our laps, something other laptops make hard to do due to the bottom getting so hot. The fans are also not as loud as we expected, even overclocking with a turbo setting using the laptop's built-in Predator Sense app, the fans never reached maximum spin, which you can test out too on the app. The Acer Predator Helios 300 is without a doubt a winner for us. Its asking price, power and design make it one of the best laptops we have reviewed this year. You really have to weigh up the competition around the same specs and price and there's just nothing close to it. It is a powerful package for a price that you would not expect and to me that is extremely impressive.